So here's a fun little thing I threw together today. Uh, it's a uh, night sky radiator, um, infrared emitter, uh, a mirror box essentially. It's not too much different than a solar cooker. Um, I just threw it together out of cardboard and uh, tape and mylar and some polyethylene and some insulation. Now um, uh, I'm standing so far away uh, because my body heat will <laughs> increase the temperature of the thermocouple that's mounted in the bottom of this box. Uh, right now it's 53 degrees and uh, ambient air the other thermocouple is saying about 68. Oh, and now it's starting to jump. So I don't have this thing uh, protected all that well for insulation, in terms of insulation. In fact, I just now wrapped the thing in, in, uh, in bubble foil. See what happened. Let me throw my hand over top of the box in the viewing window. my hand away. So the uh, weather station today says it's about 73 right now. This little thermocouple is 70. There is some slight breeze blowing through. Um, as you can see the viewing window of this is not very clear. It's bright and sunny. It's probably 10 or 11 o'clock, so the sun's going to be overhead rather soon. This is the only in, uh, shade that I have, which is the side of the motorhome. See this building is cast in a lot of bright sunlight. Uh, sky is not completely clear, but it's, it's relatively clear. Uh, so I'm going to be running out of uh, shade here rather soon. If I put it in the sun, I'm, no doubt this thing's going to cook. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, it's just cardboard tape, uh, mylar. Cut each individual panel cardboard and then wrapped it in uh, mylar taping on the back to try to get it somewhat taut. Um, the bottom is a piece of polyisocyanurate uh, insulation with some mylar tape to it. Um, the plastic on top is a pretty thin polyethylene. Um, polyethylene happens to uh, be transparent in like the 8 to 13 micrometer um, range which is just perfect for uh, emitting infrared radiation to the sky as the, uh, the atmosphere is somewhat transparent in that same range, so it's a good place to uh, emit radiation. Um, I'm going to have to build a little better box for this thing. I'm probably just going to build like a cardboard box that's going to sit in that's somewhat insulated, but uh, I imagine I'm going to run out of uh, suitable conditions to even play with it, so I'll have to do a little bit here tonight. But uh, lowest temperatures I've saw, seen were about 48. When I went around the corner to get the other uh, thermocouple, I came back, it was 48, and as soon as I approached the thing, it, uh, it spiked back up into the 60s. So uh, it just shows you how sensitive that thermocouple is. My buddy suggested just putting the thermocouple in there and no mass, and uh, he, was, he was absolutely right. He was absolutely right. So uh, eventually I'd like to put some mass in there and at night, you know, try to freeze some water, uh, maybe play around with my, uh, my uh, two-phase thermocycle. So thanks for watching.